What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, what I have for you today is my Upright Art Deco Sheep Farm. Uh, I actually love this thing a lot. You just come down here and you can shear the sheep and everything will fall on top of you. And it's perfect. Now it's not lossless, uh, but it is, it is pretty sweet looking. So who cares? I love it. <laughs> I really, really, really love it. I just wanted to make something where, where there's a sheep farm, but it was also, you know, kind of cool looking. Because I've built a lot of them, but they're always usually sunk in the ground, or they're smaller. They're meant to save space, but sometimes you just need a lot of wool. So, uh, I have this. So, let's get into what you're going to need. Okay, so you're just going to need uh, three types of building blocks uh, in terms of, you know, for the design. Preferably, again, one that has the block, the stairs, and the slab to it. So, I'm just going to stick with stone brick. Uh, you're going to need some, some kind of light. I'm using glowstone. Uh, you're going to have a chest for each row. One chest. Uh, you're going to need some grass blocks, obviously, because the sheep need to grow their wool back. And then whatever colors you want. So I'm, for the first one, I'm just going to be showing you red and then the red stained glass. Wooden trap door. You're going to need a crafting table. And then obviously you're going to need your color to dye the sheep to match whatever color you're putting. And then we'll just go ahead and I'll show you how to connect it. So I'm just going to be using uh, green as well. Okay, so let's just go right here, right next to it. So we're going to go up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can make this as long as you want, okay? But I'm going to do uh, 10 spots for the dirt, which means this right here has to be uh, 11. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. On the 11th one, we're going to go up another eight. So two, three, four five six seven eight perfect okay now we're gonna skip three one two three and on the fourth one guess what we're gonna go up another eight same thing here one two three skip and on the fourth one we're just gonna go up another eight perfect okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the fifth block up so one two three four five okay you're gonna put a temporary block there and then another one Okay, and then we're just going to come here. Okay, so basically from the middle, you make a little L shape, and then you just break those two. And then you just come out, make sure it's 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. All right, looking good, looking good. So now what we want to do is in the middle here, we actually want to put a grass block like that. Just in case uh, the grass, for some reason, they eat too much of it and just decides not to grow. We just want to put one on each side. Okay. Perfect. Now let's make our design. So what we're going to do in the front is we're going to put red like that across there. And then one there and one there as well. Okay. And then for the top, we're just going to go ahead and put our slab right there. And then we're going to put gra uh, glass there and there. Okay. Swing along, swing along the side here. And right the same row where we have our red, we're just going to keep that going. So everywhere we have that red line, we're just going to swing it across like that. Okay. Then for the top, we're going to go ahead and put our, whoa, right on top of this, we're going to go ahead and put our glass there, right there and there. Same thing on that side, there and there. Okay. And then we're just going to cover it right on the top with our red on for the back and for the front. It's only on the sides. The middle gets this uh, stone brick slab here. Okay, and then the same thing on this side. We just go right across. Perfect. Now, you can do this for underneath here. What we want to do is I, I used to originally have it on... I used to originally have it on the dirt. But now I've actually put it on this and I'm getting, I'm getting better drops. Okay. Now, here's the whole deal. You could actually lower this. Okay, you could put this another block down right here. And put the trap door there. So that way the sheep are standing here. And then they're able, like their heads are just able to eat the grass. Uh, I just don't like the way it looks underneath. That's why I raised it. So you actually can do it where, to make it pretty much almost lossless. But you're still going to get some of the, sh the, the the wool that comes up here. So whatever. I don't like to do that. But anyway, what we're going to do now is right on this top right here. Make sure it's not on the, gla on the glass. Make sure it's on the very top of the wool. Okay. You can see where the hitbox is. Make sure it's on the top of the wool. And then we're just going to drop it. And that is where our sheep are going to stand. Okay. And the same thing on this side. 
Okay, that is where our sheep are going to stand, like so. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so now let's come back up to the top. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a half slab right on top like so. That's just to make sure the sheep don't walk on top of that. Okay, like that, but the grass can still grow. And then on top of that, I like to run a line of glowstone. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that's what I like to do. Okay, and then on the very top, we're going to go ahead and put some, uh, some color there, so some wool there. Okay, and then right next to it, uh, actually no, now, now is when you would get your sheep in here. Okay, so make sure you put your sheep in there. Actually, before you do that, let's go ahead and do the, the, the sides and stuff, just so no, no, none of the sheep can get out. Okay, they can't anyway, but just go ahead and do this. So this is the side. All right, so here's the front or back. doesn't matter. They're both the same. You're going to put a stairs like that, a stairs like that. Same thing over here. Stairs like that. Stairs like that. Okay, and then you're just going to run your half slabs all across the top. Okay, in the front and in the back, right where you see this wall, you're going to put half slabs there. And then you're going to put stairs there in the middle. Okay, so we'll do that again. Stairs there. And then slab, slab. And then again, run your slab all the way down. Okay. So now let's say you have your uh, sheep in there. So let's go ahead and put our sheep in. Like this. Oh, the babies will, um, babies will fall through. So keep that in mind. We have to kill that baby at some point. No, get back in there. Hey, hey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I might be knocking him off the road. No, get in there. Get. I swear. I. You better get in there. There we go. Okay. Anyway, that's how you would be getting your sheep in there. Okay. My suggestion is block this off even more like this. And then build your staircase and have the sheep going this way. That's just a suggestion. But, I mean, you guys have probably built enough sheep farms and enough farms in general to know how to get animals in there. Okay? So, once all of your animals are in there, uh, then you go ahead and you take your glass. This is just for decoration. And you cover it up like so. Okay? Because you can actually see it. Yeah, see there's babies down here. And then what I went and did is I went ahead and I put the same color underneath. That's just to reinforce it. Okay? Not in the front, though. Not in the front at all. Okay, now let's do the underneath decoration. So what we're going to do is we're going to face, so this is the front or back again. This one, we're going to go that way, turn around to that side, we're going to go that way, and then you're going to go ahead and put one right in the middle. Okay, for under here, we're going to go this way, this way, and then kind of do what we did on the top, where we just run this all the way down with the half slabs. Okay, until we get to the side here and here. Oops, let's do that. And then let's just finish the back up, and then we can do underneath, and I'll show you how to connect them. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. You can pretty much tell how to connect them, but just in case. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so now let's do the bottom. So we're just going to turn, put these in like this. So everywhere, there we go, facing inward. Okay, so everywhere you see the these little poles, get out of here, little sheep. He's trying to be with his mommy. Sorry, bud. I had no choice. You too. You're going to a better place. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Okay. So now that that's all connected like that, then all you do is just run some half slabs. So you can still walk underneath. Okay. Everything's easily accessible. And then what I went ahead and did was, since we're, since we're keeping this color theme, okay, you run a line like this. Whoa. A line like this. For wherever, whatever side is your front, I, I suggest that's where you put your chest. So if this is the front, you're going to put your chest here. But first, what I would do is break that block and break the underneath block. Or actually, you could put you could put glowstone underneath. Okay. And then we're going to put down our chest there. And then on this side, we're going to go ahead and put down... Oops, we need that, actually. We're going to go ahead and put down our crafting table there. And then we just run this all along. Okay, and you're almost done. Now we just got to come back to the front, right where this dirt is exposed. Just go ahead and put a, uh, what is this called again? A wooden trap door, just like that. And you're done. So now this is your, this is your sheep farm. And obviously, 
you just want to make sure it's the uh, it's the same color so you'd come in here and you would just dye it like so get in there there we go okay so you, you just dye the sheep farm or dye the sheep I should say just like so perfect and then you'd come in here and shear it and then if you want to breed them okay like I said you could go ahead and breed them and they'll drop so if you wanted to do something else with other sheep you'd have an easy way to just collect sheep they'll fall down they will be you know slightly damaged so as you saw it doesn't take too much to kill them okay but again if you want to do the next section over you just skip three one two three build up eight like so same thing here one two three build up eight like so and then you just do you just do the same thing except hold on except the color would start here so one two three four five okay so this color oh this color would be right there so this color would still say the same and then the middle line right here in the middle of these one two this would be your dirt okay and then you just continue from that point on so that would be your dirt and then you do the same thing where you would take uh, this would be your green glass and you might be saying to yourself well if it's going to be covered why do we have to do the the grass or this on the inside you don't have to you could just put a wall here it's just when you're looking up uh, it I think it creates a nice effect like if I didn't have the red glass and the and the red wool here it would just be stone and I think it would look kind of stupid plus I mean you can kind of see you can kind of see that it's a little transparent I can see through it I don't know you don't have to do it you know, you can only make the ends like this one and then whatever whatever end you had. You could do it like that if you wanted to. I just I just like doing it consistently the whole way. And then you do this in the front. And you go there. One, two, three. And one, two. That would go there. You know, same thing, same thing we j literally just did. Same exact thing. It would be the same way. Okay, and then you just keep carrying that out. And then again for the top... On, the, on this would be the the stairs and then you'd have the slabs next to it and so on and so on and so on and then in in and boom okay and that's basically it and you could do every color going all the way down if you really wanted to you could build this up uh, figure out some kind of design for up here and do it higher and stack it up I don't really think you should go high with it I think you should go long with it there's uh what there's 16 colors maybe do eight of this on this side and then you could do like eight on this side and you can have like a nice little walkway of of sheep however you wanted to do it i just wanted to showcase a different uh different style sheep farm for you guys all right but anyway that is going to do it for me until next time captain i was out peace